Okay, so I'm going to take this hand crank generator, I'm going to charge the electrolytic capacitor, and that will energize the SJR looper and give us light. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the uh, charge of ten, basically 10 seconds. And you can see that we're getting quite a bit of light uh, from that. And it charges so quickly because we're not using a uh, super capacitor or anything. We're just using a standard electrolytic capacitor. So super fast charge. And we've got light here, folks. And um, I'm going to go ahead and keep improving this. But this is really exciting to me. And I'm very happy with this new coil winding arrangement. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and show in this video, I'll cut and show some of the testing that I did that led um, to these improvements. I found these large pot cores on eBay the other day, and I was really uh, interested in getting back to this circuit and doing some more experimentation with it. I 3D printed a ton of bobbins, um, and that's really the only difference uh, with this unit over the previous builds that I've done. I used to use a bobbin like this and I put my primary down first and then my secondary over that. And on these ones, I'm actually stacking it. So I'm experimenting with all types of arrangements and configurations, but the one I've got here that so far seems to work best, it's got four coils. And the primary is this uh, bottom and top coil and then the secondary, the inside uh, two coils. And they are wired together uh, in parallel. But anyway, uh, I'll get into more details on all of that in a follow-up video. In this video, I just want to document with where I'm at with the circuit, the performance that I'm currently at, and then I will move um, from these runtime tests with a single LED to trying to create an, a lamp. In the past, I made some pretty cool flashlights with this circuit where one second of crank time uh, for charging would give you a minute plus runtime on the flashlight. And now I'd really like to improve the circuit and try to make something more like a reading lamp uh, with it. All right, enough talking, let's do the test. So what I'm going to do these runtime tests with uh, is this film capacitor. This is a 0.75 uh, microfarad 400 volt film capacitor. And the first test I'm going to do is just with a, a standard uh, LED, no SGR, uh, looper circuit involved at all, but we're just going to see the runtime with it, just a single LED and a resistor uh, with the energy that's in this film cap. So I'm going to disconnect it from the power supply and I'm going to go ahead and connect this and we're just going to kind of get a baseline. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, I'd say about five seconds, give or take, of runtime. Uh, with the energy that's in this film capacitor. So now I'm going to get that out of here. We're going to go ahead and charge this up again and we're going to connect uh, the circuit with this new uh, coil up to this film capacitor and then we'll disconnect and do a runtime test. So we're connected. You can see that the LED is lit. Now it's pulsing because this is a ringer circuit. So you can see there in my hand, uh, the light from the LED pulsing and flickering. That's the nature of these ringer circuits. I can adjust that frequency um, by adjusting over here. I can crank it up and that's what I'm gonna do for the reading light. You know, I'm gonna add more resistance here. In this case, what I've got is a diode with a capacitor across that, um, just to tune it a little bit. But let's go ahead and do a runtime test here. So we're going to disconnect it. So last time we got five seconds. Now, of course, with it pulsing, we, of course, will get longer runtime. But let's check this out. We're just uh, running along here. You can see the flicker. And this runs a really long time uh, for running on less than a microfarad. 0.75 microfarad, 400 volt film cap. I'm really impressed with this level of performance. I've never been able to get a runtime like this on a film capacitor, of that capacity with the old coil uh, winding arrangement that I used to use. Uh, so definitely some improvement. Um, 
We're definitely going to keep experimenting. I've got a lot more ideas I want to try, but this experimentation's already paid off with the improvements uh, that you see here. So I'll let this um, continue to run, but wow, that's some pretty good performance. And definitely better than anything I've seen before. I guess uh, while this circuit's running, I can explain a little bit about it and how it works in the flashlights. So using this circuit in the flashlights, we were able to use an electrolytic capacitor. We, we did some flashlights with a supercapacitor. Those flashlights had a runtime in the, in the hours. Um, but what was really cool in the end, we called the flashlights the Tesla torch, and in the end we were using these electrolytic capacitors. And these coupled with a very simple uh, hand crank generator like this would charge pretty much instantly. For every second you would crank the handle, you would get a minute plus of runtime on the light. So 10 seconds of cranking would give you 10 minutes of usable flashlight uh, light uh, with a, just an electrolytic capacitor. So that was really cool. And I've always wanted to go back and experiment more with this circuit and test some, uh, some more ideas. I did find these new super capacitors that I really like. These are... Um, 13.5 volt, 6 farad, I'm sorry, 9 farad at 13.5 volts. Let me focus the camera here. 13.5 volts, 9 farad. So these uh, charge really fast with a hand crank generator, but they'll light this up and run this in bright mode, which is like the flashlight mode, for a very long time. Uh, I did a test. I'm not sure when I would cut it off as usable light, but I ran one the other day, and I ran it all night. I came back, checked it 12 hours later. It was still bright, and 24 hours later, it was still well lit. So that would uh, probably not need a hand crank generator, but just a small solar panel on the side of the flashlight um, to charge this up. So you can see that we're still running here. I apologize for the, the boring video, but this is just a quick video just to document where I'm at with this because this whole channel and these videos um, originated with just that. I was shooting basically video journals of the work I was doing and the experimentation I was doing for my own reference, just so I could look back on it and keep track of my progress, just kind of a video journaling. And uh, as I experiment with this SDR looper circuit, I'm going to do more of that. Now you can see the flicker rate here has dropped off, but we have run a tremendously long time uh, for the energy that's in that little film capacitor. So that is just really impressive to me. So really happy to be experimenting with this circuit again. I'm going to go ahead at this point, I think, and add a little more resistance here just to deplete this out faster. Uh, you can already see the, the, the reason for the video. The five seconds or less of runtime with the LED and resistor across that same film cap with this going minutes on end, I'll have to check the time in the video, put up a time for how long this, this is run in this configuration. But let's go ahead and add a little bit of uh, resistance here just to finish this out. It would run on a long time in this blink mode like this um, because it's, it's using much less than a, than a microamp uh, in current. In fact, it's down in the point zero something microamps. It doesn't even register in my most sensitive uh, meters. I've got some of these microamp meters and it doesn't even register on those. With my most um, sensitive digital multimeter, I can get a reading on it, and I've seen it running along in this blink mode like this on as low as um, 0 0.01 microamp, and it'll even level off at zero for a while and bounce back and forth. So 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 at uh, 10 volts for just a really long time. So in this mode, this could go on and on. So let's just go ahead and discharge this whole thing. So I'm gonna add uh, just touching that, I can increase the, the blink frequency. But let me see, it's gonna die out pretty quick as I add resistance here. But the fact there's even still energy in it just blows my mind. And you can see there I'm getting a steady light again just by adding 
my body resistance across that point. So pretty crazy, because again, we're running on the energy in that little film capacitor, less than a microfarad. 400 volt film capacitor with less than a microfarad, 0.75 microfarad, 400 volt film cap. So pretty crazy. So you can see even with uh, turning off that blink mode, adding some resistance and holding this down, uh, it's just running on and on. So I'm gonna, there, I added a lot more resistance. Finish that off. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna end the video on a quick preview of the um, reading lamp experimentation I'm doing with the same circuit. So let me set that configuration up and we'll finish this video up. Okay, so I'm going to take this hand crank generator. I'm gonna charge the electrolytic capacitor and that will energize the SJR looper and give us light. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the uh, charge of ten, basically 10 seconds. And you can see that we're getting quite a bit of light uh, from that. And it charges so quickly because we're not using a uh, super capacitor or anything. We're just using a standard electrolytic capacitor. So super fast charge, and we've got light here, folks. And um, I'm going to go ahead and keep improving this, but this is really exciting to me. And I'm very happy with this new coil winding arrangement. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and show in this video, I'll cut and show some of the testing that I did that led um, to these improvements. But this is going to be very, very nice uh, to have actual ambient light, not just the um, directional light like we had with the old flashlights. That was cool, but it's really nice to have this ambient light like this that lets us um, read and do things like that. So I do expect to continue to make some improvements uh, to this to get even more light uh, in a widespread area. But for this little tiny uh, hand crank generator, to provide this amount of energy with just uh, 10 seconds of cranking into this uh, electrolytic cap, that's a really nice um, system because that can charge so fast. It can charge over and over. It's not gonna wear out with you know a thousand cycles or something like a battery. And it's going to provide this uh, setup that will let us keep uh, charging and discharging and, and be free of batteries. So, uh, that's pretty exciting. Let me go ahead and increase the brightness of this by adding resistance. So, what I'm going to do is touch across the resistor here, and that's going to increase uh, the brightness of this um, system. So, you can see there, by shorting that out, I can really crank the brightness up on this. And I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but I hear the coil ringing. It's got that standard uh, ringing that we always get with the SJR circuits. But anyway, that's the SJR looper lamp mode. So kind of building on the Tesla torches that I used to build and sell. But going ahead and seeing if we can't create a lamp that will give us some nice uh, usable light. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what this video is about. I'll have some runtime uh, test as well, which, depending on how I edit the video, you've probably already seen that. But anyway, that's um, that's where I'm at with this experimentation. So definitely an improvement uh, with with this coil arrangement, like you see here. And uh, I'm excited. <laughs> It's fun to be in my shop, moved in, have access to all my tools and stuff again, and be able to do this uh, kind of experimenting. It's been quite a while uh, since I've done any experimenting with the SGR looper circuit. And this is really, really exciting stuff. Let me go ahead and see if I can run this down all the way very quickly with adding a bunch of resistance here I'm going to I'm going to wet down my fingertips so that I can get even more uh, resistance from my body here 
Not bad for 10 seconds of hand crank uh, energy. <laughs> In fact, this is so good that what I'll probably do for the lamp is use more than one of these um, electrolytic capacitors. So instead of just uh, one, I can stack them in an arrangement, connect them in parallel, and use more than one because we charged this up so quick and we're getting you know some good runtime out of it, but it'd be uh, a whole lot more runtime if we put some more of those electrolytic capacitors in there. Anyway, um, I'll just leave it at that. That's, uh, that's where this is at. Let's all keep experimenting.